Hey, it's me, Stone the Bean, and welcome back to some more SevTech Ages. Yes, we are back here on the server. Wow, I did not know that I did that. <laughs> we are back here on the server, and uh, today we are joined by uh, we have Base Mania Devil, Dawns the Monster, and uh, Podge 1969. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're still enjoying this series, then please do, please stomp on that like button for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, then why not subscribe for daily videos? Please do tell all your friends and family and uh, everybody else about the channel because, um, yeah, sharing is caring. Um, it really does help out a lot. I can't stress that enough. Um, okay, so let's talk about what's going on. Uh, as you can see, I do have a block of copper and some copper ingots in my hand. So, um, yeah, the, the recording failed. Uh, we had a failed recording. And um, uh, it means that I kind of need to do a recap of what I did in that video. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through some of the things that uh, that we that we made, and um, yeah, I can sort of uh, just just quickly run you through it all. So uh, let's just throw these into here. Oh, I want those, please. Right. Okay. So. Uh, as you know, because of uh, progressing to age one, we can make the new crafting table. The well, the new crafting table is the old crafting table. We made this guy. Uh, then we were able to make chests and a furnace. Yes, a furnace, believe it or not. Um, and it was part of the quests uh, from age... Uh, age what uh, age zero to make these guys which we made last episode um in this what i did was i obviously made that uh, the the hunting dimension but did not work out uh chests um this guy uh the crunchy pillows that is this guy here uh crunchy pillows uh if we type in uh bed uh you will see uh this is the recipe for it it's just hay and some some leaves very very simple stuff uh so we made that guy um, and then, uh, if we press L again, um, I made, uh, these guys. So it was the plumbing, plumbing the depths and then the prospector. So pretty cool piece of kit is the prospector. Uh, where did I put my prospector? Is it in, in here maybe? Uh, yeah, there we go. And, and the plumb line, right. So the prospector, basically all you do is you, you press F9, right? So F9 twice. And that will show you the chunk borders. Okay, then um, you can go to each square and you click on the ground and it will tell you up to 48 blocks below you if there are any ores there. So I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, and so on within that chunk. Um, and that will tell me grid by grid uh, where there are materials. Now, um, yeah, see, you can see as, as I'm going along, uh, clicking the thing, nothing's happening. And then I kind of get to here and it says, I found eight azurite, okay? There's no indication of azurite around. You didn't know that there was azurite around. But if we go over to here and then click here, it says it's found four, found two. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. But if I stand here, there's one. So basically, these little piles, they change. Once you enter age one, they change. And this thing here, uh, usually tells you if if um, if we the, where's my whalier gone? I had what are we looking at? I'm sure I had what are we looking at before. Huh. Anyway, um, uh, if you break this, it tells you what it is. It's a copper cluster. So as you can see, I've got a block of copper there. So if I was to dig down to a certain level, I will find azurite or copper. So that's what I did over here. Uh, I dug a little tunnel, da -da 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 -da. down we go, down we go, down we go, down we go, all the way until you can see the vein that I found and what a vein it was. Uh, here you go, you can see it's a massive vein of copper and I mined out this entire area full of copper. I got myself two stacks. Now what I did to make this a little bit quicker was I took my whittling knife, placed down seven blocks of wood, I think it was, um, made the totem base and then turned all of these into the buffalo because buffalo gives you haste and the more you have the more more the buff is so uh, I would have had haste one um, but because I've got all of those I've got haste free so mining this is not so difficult it actually it, it, 
it, it could be a lot better, but it's not too difficult. So that's what I did. I dug down. I found that. Um, then the next mission, because that was one quest here, was to find the copper using these things. The plumb line, uh, pretty simple mechanic. It just basically tells you what level you're at if you click it. I'm at Y44. So that's that's how it knew um, that it could detect these few that I found. But yeah, that's, that's all that does really. Um, so... Let's head uh, over to the next location, which isn't too far, so I won't cut the video. Um, I'll just walk there quickly. Uh, the next location, which was... Da -da 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 -da, where was it? It was over here. Um, let's try and get through these rushes. Uh, the next location, you can see my totem there already, because I used a totem every time. Uh, so I saw on the surface that this was here. I dug down one, and I found these. <laughs> They were just literally right there. And again, I've got the haste three, so it's no problem. It is no problem. And these actually uh, go across the chunk, so there's 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 multiple uh, deposits around that chunk. So the last location was to find some coal. Now, I spent a very, very long time looking for this. Um, I can't tell you how long I spent. Um, but what I'll do is I will head over to where it is, and then uh, I'll I'll show you. So here we are, this is my other location for the coal. Uh, again, totem just there. I found this by accident. I desperately needed it, but I found it by accident. Um, I was looking around for uh, deposits on the surface. And as far as I'm aware, there are no deposits on the surface for this particular vein. Um, I didn't actually go and look. Let's go and see, because I want to know whether my theory is correct about there being deposits above uh, that sort of tell you. Yeah, there you go. There, that's telling me that there's coal around. So that's pretty cool. And plus, these are a very easy way to get yourself some coal. Um, also, uh, if you're in a desert biome, um, every single deposit on, on, on the top of that desert biome, um, uh, every rock, if you're in age zero, should be a deposit. So just just be aware of that. I found that in a, in a, in a tip I saw on Reddit. So a lot of these are from the tips I saw on Reddit, to be honest. Um, but uh, I need to make my way home, so that's this direction, and we can turn F9 off now. Um, so the next line of the quest um, was pretty simple. Um, very, very simple indeed, actually. Um, and I'll show you when I get home. Okay, so the next thing I needed to make um, was this guy here, the, the, the basin and the faucet now that's just um if we type in basin uh like so that is this guy with just some porcelain brick and then if we type in faucet f a u uh it's that you can make it out of this as well but i made it out of por uh, the the porcelain stuff because it's a lot quicker so i had this set up with all of my copper clusters in here and they just fire in here fill this thing up and then i could literally just pour stuff out let it cool off and uh, I can pour out a block at a time that's why you can see I've got a block here um, so what I did was make this hammer um, and well there was a weird laggish spike there uh, does it tell me the recipe for that yes yeah, so it's just one stick and one stone to make that hammer and then oh it's enchantable as well fantastic um, and then the next thing to make was this guy uh, which was uh, so if I type in hammer no, Anvil. Anvil. They called it Anvil Levine. Um, it was just four stone and four, uh, three stone slabs. And then all you do is you take your hammer with your block on top. Let me just pull that out and do that. You take your hammer with the block on top and you, and you, and you whack it. And, and that's it. Like so. Whack it. And then you get your ingots. And that is it. That is pretty much how you gain ingots um, at the moment. In this pack and that is all I did because I spent a long time pros prospecting um, it's a lot easier to just show you uh, the prospecting the way I have rather than actually go out and try and find it uh, but that's what I did that's that's how I got there uh, so uh, I want to finish this off today uh, with uh, making the next step that we need um, so let me just do this here let's just uh, turn that in there we go we can put that up there now can we have those, please? There we go. We've got 45 copper ingots. That's fantastic. Um, so the next step is, because we want to get bronze, bronze is going to get us a better pickaxe. That is the plan. Plus, it's going to get us a little bit better armor, sort of. Uh, so if we press L, um, 
and take the L. Uh, we can look at aqueducts and all that lot uh, in the next episode, but this is where I want to be going. The alloy kiln from immersive engineering. Um, I need eight kiln bricks in a 2x2x2 two by two by two and right click with the engineer's hammer to create the structure. So, uh, kiln bricks. I needed to know how to make these. K-I-L-N uh, is pretty simple actually. It's just uh, sandstone and brick. And that's it. That's all I need. Some sandstone and some brick. So, uh, I went ahead. I made some bricks. I don't know whether that's enough. Um, to make bricks is a bit of a difficult one, actually. Because you need to take clay. Uh, place it into here, like so. You put four in there. Uh, then, then the horse does his thing. Uh, when you connect him up properly. There we go. The horse does his thing. And then that turns that into clay blocks. And then the clay blocks you have to take. Uh, let's just throw those into there while I'm here. Uh, and you guys as well. You can go in there. Although I do have um, a lot more in here. Yeah, this guy and that guy. Uh, let's take those out, actually. Um, yeah, so once you have a clay block, you take that. And then you put that into car. And you smelt this down. Uh, oh, I got two. Two? Did... Did I have one extra? I don't know. Um, but while I'm doing that, let me just find my sand. Um, I could have swore I had some sand somewhere. Some sand? Some sand. Some sand. Some sand. Some sand. I may have to go and do a quick sand run. Uh, yeah, a lot sooner than I was expecting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a thing that, isn't it? Uh, let's just check. Uh, we've got limestone. Oh, we've got some sand here. Okay. Um, do we have any more? No, we don't. Okay, so that should be done. Uh, then you take the terracotta and then you place it into here, like so. And then obviously you just you uh, you you work you work the shaft. <laughs> So you do that, and then it'll spit out some bricks eventually when the game stops lagging for whatever reason it's choosing to do that to me today. Um, so, let's see some bricks, please. And I think you get four bricks per? I'm sure it is. Um, but this is a great way to boost your, uh, your food. Definitely a great way to boost the food. So there we go. We'll keep turning this, uh, get this done. And then we can make the, uh, the the kiln, which will be a great way for me to finally... There we go, I've got my extra two bricks. It'll be a great way for me to finally um, make what I need. So uh, I'm going to have to go on a sand run. There's plenty of sand around. I can go and grab that. It's not a problem. There's some over here. Um, so give me a second, guys, um, and I'll be back shortly. Also, just why I'm uh, collecting up this sand, I should really mention about the uh, the the minimal amount of grass around here. Uh, I made a tool, it's called a sickle. Um, and basically it's a hoe with two sticks. And I just went round and like cleared up as much as I possibly can of, uh, of everything around here. Um, oh, I can hear the trumpet skeleton. No, not about. Um, yeah, so I did that and um, it's definitely something worth doing. So let's do this, that makes 35 of those. And then if we do this and then do that, I can make, uh, how many did it say? Let's just, before I do this, let's just, uh, let's come out of here, L. Uh, how many do I need? I need eight kiln bricks in a two by two by two. Right, eight bricks. But I might make two of these. So let's do 16 in a two by two by two. So let's do that and then let's do that. So that's two, four, six, eight, like so, two, four, six, eight. Eight. There we go. I could probably do that again, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to make two of these guys, but first I need the engineer's hammer. So let's type in hammer, like so. Uh, so it's just a piece of string and some sticks. I should have do, 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 some sticks somewhere. I know I've got the string. Where would I put the string? Oh, man. Uh, th this is the, the worst thing about getting into a pack now is it takes forever to figure out where you put stuff after uh, you've gone so far. Right, so that should be the engineer's hammer for me. There we go. Excellent. Um, and now I can make these guys. Now, this is kind of like my, my burning up cooking type area i guess you could say so let's uh let's just build this here so one two three one two three 
Uh, he said two by two, right? Was that a two by two? Yeah, it was two by two. So like this. Uh, no, we can do these next to each other. This is right. This is right. And then like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And then if I grab the engineer's hammer, I should be able to do that. No, no. Why would you do that to me? That's not very nice. What the? Did you see that? Right, let's, let's form this one first. Obviously, it's got an issue with recognizing that um, I wanted to form two together, but it's fine. There we go. We'll form this one. We'll, we'll form this. There we go. Thank you. And then we'll form this one. There we go. So we've got two of these alloy kilns now. Um, so now what I can take is my copper and my tin, and I can finally make bronze. So I'm going to go ahead, um, go make myself some bronze, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, okay, so while I'm waiting for that uh, to do its thing, we could do another quest here, or at least I think it's a quest. Um, so we could make ourselves a cauldron, which is going to make life a little bit easier. So let's make ourselves an unfired... Let's do, let's do three of these. One, two... We can have three going at once. So um, let's do three, because that'll make life a lot easier. So that's um, one and two and three. Because uh, what I can do... Let me take these. I really need some... Uh, some vegetable um, nourishment, right? This is uh, this is filling. This is good, so we can get a block out of here and actually make a start. Uh, how are you doing? You you cooked yet? You cooked? Yeah, there we go. So that's one cauldron, two cauldrons, and three cauldrons. Cool. Uh, that's slowly filling up. Slowly, slowly filling up. Filling up. Uh, so we can just do like uh, one, two, and three, like so. Uh, let's go and grab. Do we have? Nope. Okay. I don't even know why I'm looking in there. Uh, I wouldn't have wood in there. Uh, but I do have uh, some wood. Have I got it on me? No. Okay. So I do have some here. One, two, three. There we go. And then what we can do is make some more of this um, this charcoal stuff that that just constantly burns. Netherrack basically is what I'm calling it. But there we go. One, two, three. Uh, and that will cook that. There we go. We've got a nice block of tin. Uh, so there we go. Let's break this guy down. And then we can put this in the alloy kiln here. Yay. And uh, get that cooking up to start making some bronze for us. It's going to get us nine bronze, which is great. Uh, so let's grab you guys out of there. And I don't suppose I can make flint and steel just yet. So, let's put these down like so, and um, am I going to be able to, yeah, let's try this. Uh, one, two, three, like so, and then we'll put the cauldrons above the flame, one, two, three, like so, okay, cool. And then I just want to get rid of these. Okay, uh, sticks, sticks are like that for the fire starters, so one, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six. There we go. Have I got somewhere for my sticks to go? Yes, I have. Right, cool. So uh, let's let's get these flamed up then. So that's that one, and then that one, and then that one. Done. Right, okay, so I need to now use these cauldrons to take all of the rotten flesh that I've actually picked up and accumulated over time, uh, wherever you are. There was those in there. I needed those. Uh, where is my rotten flesh? I do have a mob drop. Yeah, there's some... Uh, that's not it. There's some rotten flesh. Did I take all of my mob drops out? Uh, there's some rotten flesh. Let me just check. Sorry, I've got to go through every chest here. Now, uh, there's a reason I want to do this. is because I want to get myself a bucket. And to get a bucket, um, you need glue. And to get glue, you need to make this thing. And uh, it's, it's down the rabbit hole we go, as you well know. Uh, so these should all be able to be... Um, this should all be able to be cooked up. So if I do that, split you, give you 19. That's cooking away there. Um, we'll give you 10, and we'll give you 10. That'll cook those up nicely. Why Why did you pick up the dirt there? Right, so that should turn those into glue. How are you doing? You're ready to pour out. Excellent. How's this doing? I have bronze, everybody. Bronze 
is here and it's mechanism as well so uh, let's see what we can do with uh, bronze let's, let's click on uses uh, oh right here okay uh, uses um, yeah rune of sacrifice not really interested in one of those uh, I want to know how to make my pick up pick pickaxe I was gonna say pick up my pickaxe uh, so what can we do we can make bronze dust uh, we can do that we can make um, bronze ingots yeah I, I'm really just really interested in, in a bronze pick really bronze gear huh I could have swore there was more uses for this stuff. Maybe on this page. Stone anvil. We can turn it into a bronze plate. Okay, what can we use a bronze plate for? T to, to make a plate cast. I want bronze for, for a pick axe. Pick. Sandstone pickaxe. Black quartz pickaxe. Whatever that pickaxe. Darkstone pickaxe. I can't make the bronze pickaxe yet. <sighs> can I can I can I can I even Yeah, brains over bronze. There we go, cool. Can I even make the armor that I was looking for? I mean I don't want to feel like I've um been robbed here, but can I? <laughs> oh no! It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I'll put this in my backpack, actually, this bronze. And um, I'll figure out what it is I'm going to do with that. Right, so uh, let's check and see whether our glue is done. Let's have a look here. Uh, we have some glue. There we go. Cool. Um, let's just grab whatever else we've got going on here. So this is a good way to get glue. Um, and then, like I say, I was looking for a bucket. So B U C K. Uh, and the unfired clay bucket has to be made on the turntable. Then you're going to need a copper gear. Uh, to make a copper gear, you're going to need a stone gear. To make a stone gear, you're going to need a wooden gear, which is going to cost you some wood planks, some sticks, and some glue. Great recipe. Uh, sticks don't have the planks. Let's go and grab uh, a bunch of planks then out of here. And I've really got to just clear out my inventory again. It's... So frustrating. Mm. Yeah, let's chuck you, you, uh, you, you, and, and the string, and and the prospector, because I don't really need that right now. There we go. Cool. Right. So uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, and it's this recipe that's going to get me the gear that I need. So there we go. We've made some glue. Uh, then we're going to need some cobblestone, I think that was, or was that normal stone? We'll find out shortly. It was cobblestone. Uh, and then for the next gear is the copper plates. So copper plates, I believe, if I go and grab some of the copper that I've got over here, uh, in here, we'll take these out. I believe I can use the engineer's hammer to make a plate, can I? Aha, okay, so that's changed. Uh, so to make a plate, I guess I need to I need to use this hammer, right? So let's do this. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's definitely a thing. I like it. I like it a lot. I, <laughs> I really do like it. So, oh, we're going to need wood sidings. To make the turntable. <gasps> Which means we're going to need to get into better with mods. And that means we're going to need the saw. But let's make the gear anyway. Because, I mean, we've done all of that. Uh, wow. The, the Like I say, the rabbit hole is, is terrible. So we can do that. That's got us the copper gear now. Um, so, if we look at the quest now. It should open up a whole lot more. So bronze leads into abyssal craft and all that sort of stuff. Um, bottom of the barrel extensions craft a barrel extension and place it on top of a barrel to increase the amount of liquid it can hold and then clay barrels can hold fluids such as water or liquid metals okay so let's do that uh, I was kind of hoping the better with mod quest would open up but maybe it will uh, come along here so let's do uh, let's do barrels then let's let's grab this um, and then we're just gonna do uh, did it say two oh 
unfired clay bowl barrel let's let's type in barrel um, unfired unfired porcelain unfired clay barrel extension unfired clay barrel so let's do two of those there we go let's do um, seriously <laughs> that's weird uh, we'll do one two Oh wait 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 wait! What are you doing, man? Don't don't be a weird crafting on me. We'll make four of those. Let's uh let's go and fire these up in in these kilns. They they shouldn't take too long to do. Um. Uh, with these, and then uh, we can crack on. So give me a minute, guys. I'll be back shortly. All right, so here we go. We'll put the the barrels down and the extension. Can I fit? Yeah, I can only fit one. I thought, I thought I could fit more. Never mind. Uh, we can always just make a couple more barrels. It's no big deal, but hopefully the rainwater will catch in there. Um, that means we can collect a, a bit more water because those barrels over there don't seem to collect it very well. Um, but anyway, that is another quest completed. So does it open up anything else? Uh, pipe me up inside. Use dung pipe. Dung pipe. Let's just quick check, see if we can knock this out. Dung pipe is crafted with... Ah, oh, right, okay. All right, cool. We can do that. Uh, so just some slabs and a piece of wood. Uh, so we'll take that and we'll do this. So let's split you up, split you up, split you up. And then we'll grab uh, 14, 15 uh, to make some dung pipes. Because dung pipes uh, you can use to pull items out of the uh, the, the thing there. Uh, so does that complete that quest? Use a dung pipe to pull items out of a block, or use a sewer pipe to pull through a solid block. Right, I pull, I pull out of a block. Um, okay, let's do, let's do this. There we go. That that should that should complete that quest. Yay me, yay me. So it's aqueducts, all all of this stuff. That one's a real easy one to get done. Uh, let's do that quick then. That's the stirring it up uh, quest. So. Um, that thing is called doo -doo -doo -doo, um, wooden basin. Okay, so let's uh, let's try and do the basin, and then at least that way I feel like I've done a lot. B A S I N, uh, wooden basin, just some wood and some sticks. That's easy, man. That is super easy. Uh, there we go. And the best part about this crafting table, a shifty click. Oh, oh. Well, you totally spoiled my fun there, didn't you? Um, Shifty click. There we go. Done. That is that quest completed as well. Ah, oh, thank you. Stirring the pot. Okay. Uh, we'll put this like here. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, yeah. I'll I'll look into how I'm going to get my bronze pickaxe. I think maybe I need the next age because this does not seem to be wanting to play ball. Definitely not. Uh, let's take that out. So I'm assuming two. <gasps> Did you see I almost set fire to that? I'm assuming two. Oh, really? Three? Three turn into one glue. So that's that's quite an expensive recipe, to be honest. Um, yeah, what I'll do is uh, I'll continue on. I'll, I'll make tin and, and stuff like that if I need it. And um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next episode. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please do stomp on that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe for daily videos? Please do tell your friends about the channel and uh, do anything like that because that would be amazing. Um, share, uh, hit the like button. Uh, I can't stress this enough. It does actually help the channel, even if you like, you know, I, I know some people can't be bothered. They watch the video and disappear and like probably because it's the end of the video. Nobody's watching right now. But if you are, hit the like button if you enjoyed um, because... Because you will, uh, you will be helping my videos to uh, to get higher in the search rankings, and uh, that gets me more views, uh, which gets me more subscribers. And I'm sure you really want to help me out um, and get me more subscribers. So yeah, please do that if you can. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I've just done the bean. This has been Sevtech Ages, and I shall see you in the next episode. Stream.